Hi friends! Welcome to Art at Home. Uh, you may notice that we're in a different spot today. We're in my backyard. It's a really nice day and I didn't want to miss out on any time outside that I could get. Um, so we're going to be making some super special envelopes, which doesn't sound that exciting, but I promise it's going to be cool, um, to send your seed packets for your grand friends in. Um, so a little bit more information about that. You should have picked up sometime this week or the, over the weekend um, a bag of stuff from Randolph. And one of the things in it was a, a plain pack of seeds, flower seeds. I knew you guys already all knew how to make a card. You just take a piece of paper, fold it, maybe fold it again, decorate it, boom, you've got a card. Um, but I thought that something a little different that we might not all already know how to do is make a really special custom envelope. So I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do that. Um, so what you need kind of depends on which which option you choose. There's one that all you need is paper, that's it, and then whatever you want to decorate with. Um, and then the other one I'm going to use with some like, this is just some pictures from a magazine, like two pages from a magazine that I ripped out uh, because I liked the patterns and the, the design on the pictures. That one's like, looks like gummy worms. Uh, or toy like snakes or something uh, so that's the other one for this one you can use a few different things to put it together um, you can sew it together you can use tape like a, like masking tape of some sort or duct tape would work um, or clear tape like pla clear packing tape um, or you can use glue or you can use a stapler. So really, whatever you got or whatever you're interested in using, that'll work for this one. Um, the other one that just needs paper, uh, whatever, it can use any kind of paper. It can use white paper that you've colored on. It can use a ripped out paper from a magazine, anything. Uh, and then you'll need a pair of scissors. And that's it. So if you want to get your stuff together and meet me back here in my backyard, I will be here basking in the sun. Okay, ready? So the first one I'm going to show you is super easy. Um, it's kind of like origami. It's this one. So I'm going to get a little closer so you can see. I uh, used some markers to decorate a square piece of paper. I uh, this is called like a this is called a mandala. When I made it's just a it's like a pattern that goes in a circle. So each circle is the same all the way around, but kind of like rows of different designs. Um, and to make, if you only have, if, whoops, if you have like white printer paper at home or a page from a magazine or whatever, and it's not the right shape, which is a square. Um, I'll show you quickly how to make your rectangular paper into a square. All you do is take a top corner, holding it um, vertically, and fold it over until it meets the edge. And so you want this top part to go into a point, and you want this, these two edges to and then you can just fold it along that line. So kind of a triangle with another extra flap at the bottom. Sorry if it looks like I'm scowling and I'm squinting because it's really bright. Um, and then you're gonna fold over this extra flap just right along the bottom. And then you'll cut off the extra piece. You have a square. 
I'm just reusing a paper that somebody else already kind of colored on and was in the recycling. Um, but there you go, you have a square. So I'm going to show you, actually, you know what, I'm going to show you how to do it on this white one because it's going to be easier to see than on this really busy pattern one. So your first job is to fold it back into that triangle shape. You'll have that. And then with your, um, I guess it doesn't really matter, you're going to fold over one side, the top, you're going to fold down and just until the point meets the very bottom of your triangle and crease that. And then you're going to fold um, both of the sides inward and you're going to fold it just past where this, this, these couple points meet. So you're going to fold it like right about here. Oh, I'm sorry. That's, you want to keep this bottom edge on the bottom edge of your triangle. And then you want to do the same thing on this side. Just a little past where those points meet. Okay, and you'll have something like this. Now you're gonna take, whoops, one of those new sides you just folded and tuck it inside this little pocket that was created on the other side. And there you have an envelope. Then you just fold the top down until it, like right at the top edge. And for this one, you would need um, a little piece of tape uh, once you, or maybe even a sticker, once you have put your message inside. Um, you'll need something to secure these bottom, the all the three flaps here at the bottom so that they stay closed. Um, but there you go. And so that's what I did. That's the same design I did for this one that I made very bright and colorful and cheery because I feel like all mail is good mail, but it's extra fun if you get something really colorful and exciting in the mail. Um, okay, on to the other method. So I'm going to choose just one of these pages, this pretty painty one. Let's go with that. Um, oh, and so you can make your envelope however big or small you want. Uh, just make sure that your seed packet will fit inside um, or whatever card. If you're making like a really big card, make sure that your envelope is from paper big enough. And you can always like, you could have three pages that you tape together to make an envelope that's big enough to hold whatever you're needing to hold. Um, or you can, you know, if it's a teeny tiny something that you want to send, awesome, make a teeny tiny envelope. I would be so excited to find a mysterious tiny envelope in my mail. Um, so for this, I'm just going to cut it. Um, a, I'm going to cut it a little bit. I have some ragged edges over here from where I ripped it out. Um, you don't have to, it, it just kind of all depends on how big you want your envelope to be. Uh, so it could be just like this. If you have something long and skinny, oop, it's going to be a perfect little envelope for that. Um, I might actually, I'm going to cut it to be a little bit not so long. And if you want to get it super precise, awesome, go for it. Use a ruler to make your straight lines. Um, I'm not too worried about that right now, so I'm just kind of eyeballing it. So from there, this part is super easy. Um, you're gonna fold your the bottom up with your, you want your pretty uh, image, whatever you want on the outside of the envelope should be facing you. Uh, and then you're gonna fold up, well, it doesn't have to be facing you. If you have it on the table, it won't be. Um, but just so I'm showing you, you wanna keep your, your, whatever you want on the outside to be showing when you fold it up just to about there. It can be a little higher actually too. Um, you just need the top part, just needs to be big enough to be the flap of the envelope. So once you have that, 
If you want, I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like once you have your flap. You can also do this with, um, like, you could do two pieces of paper, like one for the front and one for the back, uh, and just glue or sew or tape them together. Um, that would look really cool. It'd be a, you know, a little more variety. So if you want to do tape for this, um, I'm just going to fold, unfold the flap part so it's back up. And then I'm going to just tape this along the side, the edge. And if I was going to tape, if I was going to do tape on this whole thing, which I would normally do the same thing on each side, but for this one I'm going to show you uh, using both sides. So if I was going to do tape on both sides, I would just repeat that on each side. So if you have like pretty tape or clear tape, this looks really cool and it's super easy. And then you would need tape or glue to secure your flap once your mail is inside. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you uh, the sewing option. Uh, and I'll tell you, if you're gonna glue it, if you just put a line of glue right on the edge and then let it sit for a little while so that it dries. And if you're gonna staple it, same, you just do a staple right at the very edge. Uh, not a staple, like three or four staples, um, and then that's it. Uh, I'm going to show you quickly the sewing option. So I have already threaded my needle so that it would be ready. And oh no, there goes my envelope. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm just going to poke my threaded needle through right in that bottom corner. And I am going to use um, a little piece of tape to secure my my thread at the back. Um, my I did throw I did tie a knot in my thread, but um, if you use so I'm using a really big needle, I thought it would be easier to see, and that can poke kind of a too big hole in. And then um, the easiest way to do it is to just go back and forth. Like I'm sure if you. Um, if you're in the downstairs, I know you've done some sewing like this with your teachers. So just going back and forth in one side and out the other um, until you get to the top. I won't do the whole thing because it might take me a little while. So, and then once you get to the top, what I usually do is I, let's see if you can see, um, I loop over the edge, so I go out this side and then I loop over and go back through that same hole and then I while this thread is still up in the air I loop my needle under it and it kind of ties a little knot and of course you can secure that spot and um, the spot where the thread is going in with a little dot of glue or a little piece of tape and um, and it's gonna be pretty sturdy uh, and you can, if, you, if you're feeling nervous that your really special envelope may not make it through the mail, um, you can always put this inside of another envelope. I also wanted to super fast show you, um, if you make an envelope like this, it might be hard for your postal worker to read the address if you just write it on here. Um, so I was going to show you, you can either do just like a little spot, a little, um, address label spot with tape and you can of course make it neater than that um, or you can take a scrap piece of paper like white or some kind of plain paper um, and just cut out a rectangle and glue it on the front of your envelope so there's a nice spot for you to write your grand friend's address. Um, and that's it. So I hope that you will send me some pictures of the mail you're going to send to your grand friends. Um, and I know that they will be so excited to get some special mail from you. Um, in today's newsletter, I'll include some other fun ideas for simple things you could send in your envelope uh, to share with your grand friends. Uh, and on Wednesday, I am going to show you how I'm painting my tree sign to go with the trees that Evan and Kevin and Amy planted at Randolph. All right, that's it. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that it's beautiful weather 
today when you're watching this. Okay, bye friends.